distancing is bringing us closer together. So on this Feel Good Friday, a little quarantine engagement. Congratulations to Zach Levine and his now fiance, Hunter. Like, just when you think it's a nice spring day and you're posing for some pics with your pup and then your man drops to his knee and pulls out, and let me just say, because I've seen pictures of it, a stunner of a ring. So Feel Good Friday, congratulations to Zach and Hunter Marr who join us now. It's good to see you guys. Can you, uh, Zach, take us behind the scenes here with this proposal? Like, how did it come together? Man, um, I've had I had the ring since like February, so I was getting a little uh, like anxious and uh, I wanted to do it on vacation. Obviously that didn't happen, so I just picked a date. We had a, uh, a finish line, like, feel like a finish line workout. Yeah, we had a little Instagram live workout and he told me that we had to take professional photos after. So I was yeah, just assuming live. we were doing like a little photo shoot and try to find something creative to do. Yeah, you know? yeah, try to get, try to get it done. Hey, she liked it. I was happy. It makes sense. You got to come up with some sort of like ruse. Now, a yeah, lot of times, crazy. like as a woman, you have an idea that maybe an engagement is coming eventually. How much of a clue did you have, Hunter, that it was coming within this sort of time frame? Well, we were looking at rings earlier in the season, and I was like, oh, he's probably not going to propose during season just because it's, like, focused on basketball. But then we planned this family vacation after season, and I was like, oh, maybe something might happen then. He invited my family, his family, it's like all of our close friends and family. Um, so I assumed something was going to happen then. And then quarantine happened. So we obviously had to cancel vacation. So this was really unexpected. Um, give, us, give us some love during 2020. I do love the uh, the dog in the video because for the longest time he she he just stood there and just kind of like was taking part of it and posing <laughs> for the pictures. Um, yeah. Now comes like wedding plan planning, right? During a, a global pandemic. So take us through. Do you have a date? Oh. That's no, no nah. date. Definitely nah. something <laughs> next year during the summer. Okay, yeah. so how does, one looking go at about, venues? how does one go about now sort of like securing the date and, and, and doing all of the things that you need to do to plan a wedding uh, when we're all in quarantine? That's for you to figure out. <laughs> <laughs> um, honestly, I haven't really thought about that. I just am hoping this will all resolve soon and i've been talking to my best friend and my sister a lot and i know they're going to help me a lot throughout this wedding planning process yes you'll have lots of people stepping Super up to help can you do me a favor real quick can you just flash the ring for the camera because i saw a picture of it on instagram oh goodness and zach yes, i you, don't have my nails you, on you, nope go down whoa like i said i saw pictures of it and it's a stunner so zach may i uh oh, yeah, I, know, I, know. Yeah. I, mean, I did my job you yeah, did you job. did your job i did you job. you absolutely I, did I, I can't take all the credit though my mom my mom played a big part in it um, oh she helped me uh and she kind of picked her brain a little bit without letting her know so it was a uh, it was a uh, it was a group effort. Well done. I am. I am seriously impressed. You, you did. You did a good job. You also did a good job playing uh, horse because you made it to the championship round, but you lost to, yeah. to Mike Conley. What happened there? See, I was I, I was I was going through it pretty easily by just being athletic and doing layups and hitting shots where I needed to. Um, as you guys know, Seattle weather can be like seventy five and sunny, and then the next day be pouring out rain. Uh -huh. So like. It was really slippery, and I did not want to slip and hurt myself. So I just said, "Look, I can't even. Uh, I can't. You can see it a little bit right there." But you know, hats off to Mike Conley. You know, he's ambidextrous. I really couldn't shoot left-handed fadeaway threes, uh, so he deserved it. Well, no, I, I pointed this out earlier when we were showing the highlight. One, Conley was the only guy who played this tournament in, in indoors at in the, a the gym end. Too. In a, in a yeah. gym, you were in outside. A gym, yeah. Like yeah. on on the outside court, and you could see the raindrops start to fall. So, on a scale yeah. of one to ten, how much benefit did he get from actually being within the cozy confines of a home gym? I mean, I'm not going to take away his victory. At the end of the day, his horse knows all for fun. But uh, 
I don't know. I, if I would have been able to jump and, and be safe and not slip or anything like that, yeah, I think I could have won up. I think you, you know, need to use perhaps, my creativity. Maybe you need to lodge a protest. I don't know. Not a whole lot of sports going on. Maybe we need to do yeah, it exactly. all over again. Exactly. Yeah, we do it. Uh, perhaps you have heard that starting this Sunday, ESPN is rolling out the 10 part documentary that, that follows Michael Jordan yeah. and the 97 98 Bulls team. As someone who plays in Chicago, what is the Jordan impact still on that city to this day? Oh, I mean, he, it hasn't left, uh, you know, Michael Jordan, everybody grew up, I grew up in 95, so everybody wanted to be like him still. My two biggest idols was Michael Jordan and Kobe, and, you know, they walked the same line together, so um, I'm excited to watch it, uh, you know, especially during this time, and even walking into the arena, seeing the championships and the banners, it gives you something to look forward to and try to get to, because um, they were the gold standard. Guys, uh, I can't wait personally to see The Last Dance because I am quite a bit younger than you and I grew up in that area during sort of that same time frame. So I can't wait to see it. It does premiere Sunday, 9 p.m. Eastern on ESPN. Hunter and Zach, congratulations on your Thank engagement you. and thanks for Thank joining us. Thank you guys Thank so you. much. Uh, today on ESPN.